Hello and welcome to another fabulous day in the neighbourhood. Look at all that beautiful blossoms behind me. Weather is perfect. I love to read. I was reading The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. He partnered with Mark Victor Hansen. They wrote all those chicken soup for the soul books. You know the ones. Chicken soup for the backyard. Chicken soup for the lizard climbing up the wall. Chicken soup for the swimming pool. They had a winning formula and so they cased in on it. Consistency, repetitiveness, and they continue to be in the New York bestseller list. But this excerpt I got today was a lesson for life for us all. It's called A Talent Statistic. It was written by a guy called Herbert True. Herbert True, can you imagine being called True? That's your last name. Does that mean everything you say is gospel? You never tell a lie? Oh, what a responsibility. Well, he was a marketing specialist at Notre Dame University. Maybe still is, who knows? But the thing is, Notre Dame, we always call it Notre Dame growing up, but that was a place in France. Notre Dame here in America is a football team, right? The fighting Aries, there's a stereotype of ever. Never saw an Aries guy throw a punch in my life. Especially at a funeral or a wedding or a party or just in a bar. <laughs> anyway, he said 44% of all salespeople quit trying after they rejected the first time. 24% quit after being rejected second time. 14% quit trying on the third try and 12% quit after four attempts to try to get a yes and getting rejected. 94% of all salespeople have quit by the fourth attempt. And yet here's what he said, they know that on a study they found most yeses and sales take part and take place after the fourth attempt. 6% are getting all the sales, doing all the business and they're making all the money. I'm going to ask you today, have you ever quit because you got a no and you took it personally because you felt you were being rejected? Can I just tell you they didn't reject you, they rejected the proposal at that time. And don't be afraid to come back the next day and ask again and ask again. You may be able to present new data that makes them look at your proposal a different way. You may get them in a better mood. You may be dressed a little better and they have a smile on your face the next day. It could be that they have got new funding for their business when you come back and ask again. Circumstances have changed in their lives and now they need what you're offering. You just gotta be persistent. I'm gonna ask you to become an asshole. <laughs> yes. And so with that in mind, and I'm gonna put it into practice here. I am a real estate broker, California, Nevada, living in Las Vegas. So let me ask you, have you thought about possibly selling, buying a home? And can I ask you to be your realtor? Can I ask you, have you, do you know how much your home's worth today? Would you like to know? I'd like to tell you. Would you like to know how interest rates are and what the projections are for the next year in regards to the economy? Fighting inflation, this is about three and a half percent right now. They wanna get down to two, which means that we may have reached the pinnacle of the interest rates. I've got the information to provide to you and I'm asking, who do you know that you could refer business to me that I could help them buy or sell a home and honor your referral with the best service possible? That's hard to ask. Go be an asshole and have a great day.